How far do field hockey players run? The development of GPS and match analysis led to have more and more knowledge of physical data, and in general, to have the possibility to generate any kind of data. Understanding the physiological load of the players according to their positions is necessary to develop a sport-specific training protocol. Therefore, match analysis are helpful to develop a specific training program which mimics the physiological conditions imposed by the game. So, how far do field hockey players run? The authors of this paper provided an answer. 18 players from the New Zealand men's hockey team were studied, wearing a heart rate monitors and GPS. The positions were divided in three fullbacks, six halfback, five inside forward, and five strikers. The authors divided intensity into five categories Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, and Zone 5. Like in the research we have seen about the physical demands on soccer players by Walter Di Salvo. The results show that looking at the zones in the average of total distance covered in meters, the players cover the most in zone 2 and zone 1, with a total of around 8 kilometers. The mean total distance covered by each individual player was around 7 kilometers, of which the major proportion was covered at a low and moderate intensities. Speed faster than 19 and 23 km per hour accounted for 4.5 and 1.6 percentage of the total distance covered. Here it is possible to see by individual position how many meters the players made with a certain speed. The majority of match time was spent in low and moderate intensity activities. 60.9% for the low intensity and 43% for the moderate intensity. The distances covered by each position progressively increase as the player moves up the field from defense to attack. Fullbacks cover significantly less total distance than all other positions, and significantly less distance in zone 3, 4, 5, and 6 than all other positions. Further, the hazards showed the results based on the first and the second half. The mean total distance covered decreased by 4.8 percentage for the first and the second half. There were statistically significant decreases in the distance covered in zone 2 between the first and the second half, for whole position and for the whole team, but whole other zones showed non significant changes. Finally, the strikers had the fastest speed and reaching the highest percentage of the maximum speed. Also, they performed significantly more sprint than all other positions and fullbacks perform significantly less sprints. Lastly, the mean heart rate during the match play was 161 bits per minute, and the peak heart rate reached was 196 bits per minute. The mean heart rate decreased from 86.7% of the heart rate mass to 84% between the first and the second half, although this was not significant. To conclude, the study provides an overview in different positions of the physical demands in field hockey. To take in consideration is the fact that the study looked into physical data of the New Zealand national team, and other national teams could have different physical data. If you would like to know more about this topic, you can find related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful and you would like to help me in growing with the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!